Hi guys, welcome back to Nebula Fox Toy Reviews 2023. We are already three weeks into the year. My god, has the time flown. Uh, but today I am going to be taking a look at a brand new Nendroid that has only recently come out. And uh, I think it came out towards the end of 2022, I think it was. Yes, I pre-ordered it. It was, it was shipped to me pretty much at the very end of 2022 and I got it at the very beginning of 2023 and it is Nendroid Your Forger from Spy Family or Spy X Family I'm not entirely sure how you're actually meant to say the title it's a bit like Hunter Hunter really is it Hunter Hunter or is it Hunter X Hunter you don't know do you, do you pronounce the X or do you not by the way we're not bothered about the pronunciation of the title of the anime we are bothered about the figure so this at the moment is on loan to me uh my friend collects uh anime figures pretty much like me but she's an inbox collector so if it's something that i've pre-ordered for her like this was uh she lets me keep it to review it and then i'll put everything back in the box as it was when i got it and then i'll give it back to her so uh thank you hannah for letting me borrow your uh i hope she gets back to you in, uh i hope she gets back to you in one piece as well uh and i'll try my best to keep everything in the box uh but yeah so this is your from spy family this is likely going to be the only spy family nendroid i review unless my friend decides to get the others i know i'm not actually that bothered about getting the nendroids of them because nendroids they're, they're expensive same with figma figures they're getting very expensive um so yeah this might be the only spy family nendroid i review it might not like i said depends on if my friend gets the others and if she does if she lets me borrow them to for review purposes but yeah you're uh, let's head on over to the review table and get a closer look at this brand new Nendroid. Follow me. Okay, so welcome to the table. Here is the figure in its box still. So we'll take a quick look at the packaging before we get on to the review. Oh look, there's the camera. Hello. So yeah, Nendroid boxes are very simple. You have this nice open window where you can see, um, yeah, you can see the figure and some of the accessories, and it says here your forger on the window. And then down here we have a nice picture of the figure along with an Android, the product number, and that's it. Up here we have the Spy Family logo, and over here a good small company logo. On the top of the box, pretty much exactly the same information. On this side, just some nice little product shots of her. On this side, exactly the same again, except you have them all together, the whole family. And on the back of the box, some more product shots, excuse me. And some, a lot of words. I can read this, which is basically, this is for an adult, don't give it to a kid. <coughs> uh, warnings are in English, they are starting to put English on here. And then we've got um, copyright, and then we've got some official stickers and all that jazz. And on the bottom, we have pretty much the same that was on the lid, except we have, look, an extra barcode, and the picture is different. So, let's open the box. I'm going to be very gentle. <coughs> Excuse me. Very gentle. As gentle as can be with removing the figure from the box. There we go. But I did not want to open then and I was afraid it would break. Not break, but tear. I did not want to tear it. So, in the box we have this little sheet of instructions. So we have a contents sheet. That's the Japanese side. Well, I want the English side. So yeah, so that's the contents, and then this is what to, what to, and how to, and uh, yeah. 
So as you can see with Nendroid you can replace the legs, you can replace the arms and you can swap the hands as well. And it also looks kind of confusing in the sense it looks like you have to change the shoulders as well. Oh this one's going to be interesting, this one looks a little on the confusing side. Let's put that in there, put the box down on the floor and take a look at the figure itself. Is there any tape on this that needs cutting? If not, then yay. There it is. Now I've got to be very careful because Nendroid pieces like to fly off in many different directions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the figure out Oops. And just for the sake of the review, I'm going to take all of the accessories out. There we go. And there are a couple more accessories behind this tape that need to come out as well. There we go. So that's, I'm just going to leave that all there in that tray. Let's put this bit of tape back over there. I'm not entirely sure if that's going to stay stuck. And we also have the base, which I need to get out. I need to get at. I need to get at the base. Do I have another Nendroid I could just steal the base for? Do I? No, I don't. But I don't really. Oh, screw it. Give me that. Just let me. Give freaking sellotape. Give. There we go. I'll just get some fresh sellotape to stick it back in the box. And I stick the tape on my leg. There we go. Like I said, I'll just get some fresh tape to stick it back on the inside of the box. <coughs> because we honestly, we do need the base. For display purposes. It also comes with a replaceable uh, a neck joint replacement because like with Figma's, a good small company know that their figures are very fragile. Put that down there. So here is the figure. I am going to have to remove all of these bits of plastic. I'm going to have to remove her head to get that off. And if I save these bits of plastic I might be able to put them all back on. How do you get this one off? Do you have to pull the legs off? Hold on. No, you don't pull the legs off. You might have to just... Actually, I'm going to pull the legs off. I know. Just hold on a sec. Oh, there we go. Got it. Unfortunately, that bit of plastic is not going to go back on. One head back on. There we go. Here she is. I'm just going to move all of the accessories over there. <coughs> move the base over there a second. So here she is. Here is your looking as cute as ever. So, yes, and yes, there are bits where we have to change the shoulders out, but I do believe changing the shoulder is purely so one of her arms can be sticking out. Is it? I don't know. Oh, yeah, it's probably for this pose here, so the arms can stick out. Yeah. I don't think I need to worry about that bit yet. So, anyway, here she is. 
The figure is absolutely adorable. Those eyes have been printed on amazingly. I love the colour of her eyes. Here we have the gold, uh, her golden headband with the, the needles poking out. She does come with needles that she can hold as well as her, you know, her, her weapon of choice. And if we look under, we can see they have nice, um, the gold spiked earrings as well. I love the hair piece. That is done really nicely. And then going around the back, we've got to see where all the hair is tied up. And then there we go. If we're going down to the body, she's got her really nice black dress on. I'm actually going to take her head off again. Because Nendroid heads are that big that the shadow is covering <laughs> pretty much all of the body. So as you can see, also the body is really light. The, the head is heavier than the body. So you can see we've got her little little gold pendant that she wears. Then we have her dress, her assassin's dress, with her boots. The inside, uh, the inside of the dress is covered in roses, by the looks of it. Yeah, it looks like they look like little rose prints, and also the underside of her boots are also done in red. The detail on this is really nice. So we've got the, the straps of her dress going down around her shoulders. So, yeah. For the base, we've got the base that goes into that, like so. Spin that around. Because Nendroids 100% cannot stand on their own. So the base just plugs into the back in that little hole. There we go. Don't want to push it in too much because you want to be able to get it back out. And then just lean it back a bit. And there we go. There she is on the base, able to stand up. <coughs> I'm going to get her back off the base. Oh, enjoy. The base came off in her back. Did not want to do that. Did not want it to do that. There we go. Got it. Got it out. Just put that back on there. So, for articulation, we can just put her head back on. The head is on basically like an oversized figma joint, which acts as a swivel hinge, so she can look up that far, down that far, and also she can look around as well. If you play with that hinge, you can sort of get her to then look side to side, as in like tilting her head, but I would not recommend it because these joints are incredibly fragile. For her shoulders, they can go forwards pretty much all the way up and backwards pretty much all the way up for her legs her legs can move forward that far and backwards that far it probably go back a bit further but the dress is in the way and there is no spread unless you like i said before play with the joint but you can't really do that because uh I'm pretty sure the joint is fixed. So it's only forward and back. And that, that's it for articulation. <coughs> for accessories, if I just bring this tray in. She has two uh, interchangeable faces. She can smile. Or she can be laughing. This one is really cute. So I think for the thumbnail, I think I will be having her wearing this one. But she's also slightly blushing. So for the thumbnail, I'm going to have her with that face on. Uh, for arms, she comes with three extra arms. So she has this one, which I believe is holding a needle holding one. Oh, I forgot a point of articulation. You can also swivel the wrists as well, because the hands are interchangeable. So yeah, so she has 
uh, a bent arm that has uh, the needle holding hand. We have this uh, arm with a fist, but this is also a needle holding hand. There is a hole through it. And then we have this arm, which is just outright just a bent arm with a fist. So, to exchange the body parts, I need to take the head off again. Sorry, yo. Oh, there's also an extra arm. I mean, a leg. There is an extra leg as well. Focus camera. There we go. We have a bent leg. And we have two of the needles. Oh, there's a bit of fluff on that one. There we go. So we have two needles and a shoulder. <coughs> so let's attempt to. Which pose do we want to do? I'm going to pick one of these that's on the box. Uh, let's go with this one because it means we won't have to change the face just yet. So, for this one, we need to remove this arm. But, we want the arm because the arm is straight. So, we need to take the shoulder off. Put this straight shoulder on. Put that shoulder in there. Oh, come on. That'll do. And then we want a needle holding hand. So we want this hand. Take that hand off. We want this hand to go on there like so. And then we want the needle in the hand. So we're just pushing it up through that. There we go. So there we go. <coughs> and then we want to take this arm off. We want to keep the shoulder. And we want the. Now we want this. Oh no, we don't want to keep the shoulder. Let me just put that back on. We want to take the whole thing off. And then we put this arm in. Because this arm has the shoulder piece on it. And then we want to take the needle, thread it through the hand. Like so. There we go. We also want to take this leg off. And replace it with the bent leg. And put that leg back. And there we go. So then we just put the head back on. And there we go. I might actually leave her in this position for the thumbnail. Because that is pretty good. So there we go. To change the faces, if you do want to, you just pop the fringe off. And then you pop the face plate off, if it wants to. This one does not seem like it wants to. Let me just pop the head off again. I hate how many times I'm popping the head off this thing. There we go. Pop the face plate off. And then just put the other face plate on. <coughs> there we go. And then pop the fringe back on. And then we can pop the head back on the body. So there we go. Now she's extremely happy to be killing you. Because this is your we're talking about. And she enjoys her work. So yeah. I'm actually going to put the, put the serious face back on. I'm just going to pop the serious face back on. Because you know. Thumbnail. Serious face, fringe, and then back on the base you go. 
I'm not going to actually put that too far into her back this time because I want to be able to take it off. And there she is. I'm going to put her facing the ground a little bit more so she's on the ground. Damn, this the base off of the this this stand arm is stiff. There we go. There she is. Now she's ready to go and be a badass. That's a really nice figure. I've always liked Nendroids, but like I said, for what they are, they are starting to get very expensive. Same with Figma figures, they are starting to get very expensive. But it's all just because, you know, cost of living, prices are going up. Everything, price-wise, is just going up. The necessities and the uh, luxuries, <coughs> everything is going up. But yeah, that is that. That's all I can really say about this figure, because, you know, it's an android. There isn't too much to say about them. So, um, yeah. Be sure to like, uh, subscribe, and leave a comment if you enjoyed the video. And, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I shall see you all in the next video, whatever that'll be. Bye!